Lee, you've won 7 0 today, <coughs> but is it, is it a bittersweet feeling in the dressing room? Uh, it's, it's very hard to describe, the, obviously, the feelings and the change room at the moment. Um, you know, obviously, we're, we're buzzing with the win, but obviously, still disappointed because we could be in Barnet's shoes right now, and we, we know that. But um, mm. no, we, we, I think we knew today we had a slim chance of, you know, obviously gaining the title, you know, we needed Gateshead to, to do a job for us. Um, you know, the scores kept flittering through and, you know, we got one nil up, which we done well to get an early goal. We thought it might put a bit of pressure on them, but credit to them. Um, you know, the, the, they got the 2 nil win and obviously they got us champions and we got to go for the playoffs now. Mm. I remember speaking to you at Altrincham in August, you would have probably right there and then taken the position you were in. I guess you look back at the season, it's all ifs and buts, isn't it, why you haven't won automatic promotion? Yeah, we can turn around and look at everything. We could look at last week, but really we can look at the other 15 draws and five losses that we've had. If we turn a couple of them into wins, you know, that first horror week of the season that we had. Um, you know, we, if we get two points from those three games, you know, it's a completely different kettle of fish, but you can't, you can't live in the past. We've now got to go and approach Wednesday. Everything's forgotten. We're coming off the back of a 7-0 win where I think, well... Where I thought we played fantastically well. Um, you know, we'll go in full of confidence. This is what you need in the playoffs. Forest Green in the semi finals. That won't be a, an easy fixture. They're giving you two good games in the conference this season. Yeah, we definitely owe them. You know, um, th Them and Eastley are the only ones really that have uh, taken points off us. So, yeah, we, we, we definitely owe them one. Um, obviously, we've got two, two games now to try and progress to the final. Um, the boys now. Obviously, we're a little bit down at the moment. Well, not really down, to be honest. We're more disappointed. Um, but it's one of them. We'll, we'll come back in Monday. The banner will start back up again and we'll be ready to go on Wednesday. It's always a sign of a good changing room. You know, we, when you face a disappointment like we have done, but we managed to bounce back from that very quickly. Yeah, the Rovers fans already singing about Wembley. I know there's Forest Green to get over the way, but it can be a glorious way to go up if it all goes to plan. Yeah, but I've, yeah I've been very fortunate to be able to do that, obviously, with Torquay. We went up through the uh, playoff final, but that's a long way off yet, yeah, a long way off. Um, obviously, to get there, we need 180 minutes of football where we need to obviously be, you know, be at our best because that's what we're going to need to do to, to beat Forest Green over the two legs. Um, they're in the playoffs for the reason, they're one of the top teams in the league. Uh, and obviously, you know, the, as, as a test, it, it's going to be it's going to be difficult. But I feel obviously, if we are at our game, we're um, you know we, we show the same endeavour like we did today, then we give ourselves a good chance. And I'll finish with a positive. It's you've been we've been asking about Barnet for weeks now, but now it's in your hands, isn't it? To go up, it's in your hands. I said it. I think I said it to the, the press on obviously before this one. We win four games, we get promoted. Now we win three games, we get promoted. You know, obviously today wasn't to be. So now we go the other route. You know, it's, if people think of the playoffs. And I can I can already see the headlines that probably you guys will be saying now. We'll we'll be downbeat and all that. No, we won't. We'll be ready for the playoffs. We'll be 100% fully committed, going into Forest Green the first game and then going on to the Sunday game and we'll be we'll give it 100% to try and get to that final. Our main objective this year is to get promoted. This is it's as simple as that. And obviously Forest Green now are standing in our way, and one of the other ones are standing in our way. So there's three games we've got to get through. We've got to get there first, and once we get there, we've got to do the job. Score many headed goals in your career? I've yeah. I keep telling them to put me in there, <laughs> but, uh, Mr. Chairman. But um, yeah, they just it was a, it was a great delivery from Lee, and I managed to be able to the ghost in the box. Um, I'd like to have seen the gaffer's reaction really. If I would have. <laughs> he, he doesn't he. he you know the, the dampeners have been put on me, so to speak, that sort of thing. We, we've changed the, our style of play. So um, no, it was an opportunity to, to get in there, and yeah, it's, it's always nice to, to, to cap off the uh, the league with a goal. So that's seven I've got now. You lot won't take that uh, one away from Chester away from me. I can tell you that now. Um, but yeah, always pleasing. But obviously, the, in the, we look at the whole picture: the seven goals at home in front of a fantastic crowd, in front of a sellout, and I think we've really put on a show and. Hopefully they can come back again on Sunday and more of the same.